The two-time former UFC middleweight champion cut a relaxed figure as he spoke to the media ahead of his much-anticipated UFC 305 event here in Perth. The Nigerian-born athlete said that he'd used his 11 months away from competing to reset and clear his mind, but was feeling sharp and hungry to put on a show against the reigning champion, Trickis Duplessis. I think they, they saw, you know, the schedule that I was on and some of the other fighters in our gym. You know, I had five fights in 16 months as a champion. And again, it's not just the fight itself, it's the work we have to do to get ready for the fight. So they saw um, the, the detriment that was doing to me and some of the other fighters. So it was good to re refresh everything. Duplessis, who currently boasts a 21-2 and two professional record with a nine-fight winning streak, says this fight is an opportunity he is relishing and is determined to successfully defend his belt against the dangerous UFC veteran with whom there's no love lost. You know, for me, I'm not going out there to defend my title. I'm going out there in my mind. When I get home, it's going, I'm going to fetch that belt. Uh, I said it before. I'm, you know, when I walk out to that octagon, the belt is vacant. And I'm fighting for that title. And the same guy that was willing to die to win that belt is willing to die once again and kill to get that belt. With the World Cup winning Springbok captain Sia Khaleesi and vice captain Eben Etzebet set to lead the reigning UFC middleweight champion out to the octagon, he will feel the support of the entire Rainbow Nation. This time though, Duplessis is the man with the belt instead of being the challenger. The pressure will be different and the task will be to retain his title against one of the best to ever compete in the UFC. But the South African knows that should he prevail, he will cement his status as the best middleweight in the world. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Perth, Australia.